song by Train called Marry Me. It's a very pretty song. It's all finger style. There's only one finger style pattern throughout the entire song. It's repeated over and over and over. And there are just a few chords sprinkled in. And all you gotta do is get the one finger style pattern down and the shape of the chords and you can do the whole tune. Singing along is a little more difficult, but just playing it, not so bad. So first of all, here are the chord shapes. For the intro, you're going to have bottom E open, skip the A string, second fret with your middle finger on the D string, open G string, and index finger on the first fret of the B string. Okay, the second chord, you're going to, uh, best case scenario, you're going to play the bottom E string first fret with your thumb, skip the A string, D string third fret with your ring finger, open G string again, and first fret on the B string with your index finger again. Okay, those just go back and forth in the intro and in between every verse. Okay, for the verse, the chords are going to be as follows. You're going to start with a C major chord, which is A string 3rd fret with your ring finger, D string 2nd fret with your middle finger, G string open again, and index finger on the 1st fret of the B string again. Okay, the 2nd chord is going to be the 2nd fret with your middle finger on the A string, open D, open G, and still with your index finger on the first fret. Okay, and then that changes to the same exact chord, except the only difference is you take your, you change your first finger, your index finger on the first fret of the B string is gonna change to your pinky on the third fret of the B string. So you went from to, okay? Then we have an A minor seven chord, which is A string open, second fret, on the D string with your middle finger, G is open, and again the first fret with your ring with your excuse me with your middle finger, excuse me, the first fret on the B string with your index finger, and that's the A minor seven. Okay, and the next chord is going to be low E string, third fret with your ring finger, skip the A string, D is open. G is open, and again, index finger, first fret on the B string. Okay, and then back to the F chord that we played with our thumb here. Thumb. That. So all together for the verse we had. Okay, and then when we get to the bridge, uh, it's good to write all these shapes down and then uh, refer back to them because I'm going to go on to the finger style pattern next and then you'll just apply it to all of these chords. So when you get to the bridge, the A string with your index finger on the first fret, the D string with your pinky on the third fret, G open, and your middle finger is going to play the first fret on the B string. So we have one, three, open, bit of a finger twister and then all you're gonna do for the next chord of the bridge is take your index finger off of the A string so it's open okay we went from to okay and then the third chord is our C shape three two open one and then the final chord of the bridge is the same shape we had before two open open one and you just stay on that Okay, so those are all the chords in the entire song. So now we'll go over the finger style pattern with your right hand and then we'll put them all together. So the finger style pattern is exactly the same throughout the entire song and all it is is this. You just repeat this over and over. You're going to take the lowest note and the highest note of each chord. You're going to play the lowest note with your thumb and the highest note with, you could do it a, a variety of ways, but for the sake of one explanation I'll say with your middle finger. So 
for the case of the first chord of the intro, which is okay, we're going to play the low E string with our thumb, and at the same time, the B string with our middle finger. So you just pluck them together and you pull, you pull your two fingers towards one another. You're doing, you're just kind of closing your fingers together. Okay? And then your thumb is going to alternate between the lowest string of each chord and the second lowest string of each chord back and forth the whole entire time. So you're going to go and then with your thumb, in this case, on the D string, because that's the second lowest note, it's the second lowest string we're using in this chord. Okay, so thumb and middle, then thumb, and then the next string, which is the G string in this case, with your index finger. So, okay, then back to your thumb, then middle, then thumb again on the second lowest string again, and then index again. Okay, so we had the outside two uh, strings of whatever chord you're on, with your thumb on the bottom, your middle on the top, okay, then thumb on the second lowest string, and then index on the string above that, then thumb on the lowest, middle on the highest, thumb on the second lowest, index on the one above that. Okay, so we have Okay, and sped up, that's Okay, so the first pluck of the outside two strings of each chord is the only one that holds twice as long as the rest. Okay, and as you move along to the each chord subsequently, you do exactly the same pattern with whatever strings you're using for each chord. Okay, so for example, when you get to the verse, exactly in the order that I said earlier for the verse, and you're doing exactly what I just said, that one finger style pattern over and over here. Okay. Alright, so you alternate the intro chords and the verse chords back and forth throughout the entire song except for the bridge. The verse chord progression is the same as the chorus chord progression. It's actually the, the verse plus the intro equals the chorus progression. Okay, so for example, here's what I mean. Here's starting at the first verse, what it'll look like with your left hand. Forever can never be long enough for me Feel like I've had long enough for you Get the world now, you won't let them see but There's one thing left to do Now that the weight has lifted Love has surely shifted my way Marry me Today And so on and so forth. It's just the intro and the verse progressions back and forth, back and forth through the whole song. 
until you get to the bridge, which is the same finger style pattern, just like everything else, and uses those chords that I said earlier, and that sounds like this. difference is that one ends on the second chord of the progression. Just ends on that. Okay, and that's it. That's the entire song. One finger style pattern, one progression, write down the progressions, or excuse me, one finger style pattern, write that down with your right hand, and practice that over and over, slow, 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 and then uh, just a couple progressions in the song and they just alternate back and forth and you'll have it. I hope you enjoy it.